Welcome to another video, welcome to another homemade synth video. It's no longer additive, saying I've got the FM engine. I um, thought I'd give a quick update. So, I basically fixed a few bugs and got the feedback working properly in FM, and I've made a one slight tweak to the, I'll call it user interface, it's basically just how you program the synth, just for to make things easier. So, first things first, the user experience, user interface, um, when you change the levels of each oscillator, and that's in either FM or additive mode, previously you used to have to keep pressing the button, or the note. So for example, there's our default initialized patch. If I wanted to change by the pot at least, I'd have to keep pressing the button to trigger it. Now, if I say oscillator 2, level, it now plays, so I can I can listen. If you're lucky enough to have an oscilloscope, you can use the oscilloscope. You can actually see what's going on. Accept it. Now number 3, you know. You know, you can go through, create your way of doing, you know. And then of course, pre-rolled envelope. That's great. Now what we can also do is that works just as well for FM. In fact, probably better. So let's initialize the patch. And again, just because it makes life easier, I'm just going to set any old value for the oscillator 2 level. Now I've changed it slightly because it's easier to long press the function keys than long press those. So long press one, we're now in FM mode. Let's choose the ratio. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. For now, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll just... We use a square wave, because sawtooth, the additive synth actually, I think sounds better than the sawtooth I can get out of a two operator FM. But the square wave on the FM... So here's our square wave. Still a bit, a bit sort of uh, noisy, shall we say? Anyway, we'll accept that. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the feedback down. Okay, now I can adjust the second operator. So that's that's already quite a good square wave. It's still a bit sloping. So let's now use the feedback. You can see how it's even it's a lot straighter. And now let's see if we can go back to feedback. So anyway, there's... Now if you remember, on the additive side we have six oscillators. A square wave uses oscillators 1, 3 and 5, giving us three harmonics. We can now see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you'll have to take my word for it, the sixth one. In fact, maybe I can do this. You can see that there's more than just the first three. Okay, so there is our, um, our square wave FM. We can now put a pre-canned envelope. Now, if you remember, this one sweeps up the harmonics and then down the harmonics. Now, in FM, the two harmonics, I mean, there's the overall volume. That's fine. There's the... Uh, amount of modulation and the amount of feedback. We want to keep the feedback constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to change from... Well, it doesn't sound too bad, but just to show, we want to make the sure that the feedback doesn't change. So, three. We'll say attack, instantaneous. Release, very long. 
sustain level 100% which it already was decay level very long so now uh, it may be hard to hear but there's a ever so slight difference just a little bit uh, more rounded because we're now keeping the feedback the way it is and we're only adjusting the modulator depth which is effectively like a filter so crank up some reverb so there you are so that shows the feedback so basically the modulator feeds back to itself to give you a sawtooth-ish feedback uh, um, uh, modulator and then the amount of that goes into the operator, the, the carrier. So that's how you can get these nicer sounds. Without, see if I go back, if I was to turn off, there's no feedback, see? You actually have a wobbly square tooth. Adding feedback straightens it up. And then you can, of course, go crazy. And these are all on envelopes, so you can actually adjust that in your sound. Anyway, again, everyone loves the clangy sounds of FM. Now, I'm not going to go through how to get this one because it's a little bit more involved, but it's pretty much the same process as we've been seeing. So you go through, set your FM, uh, normally set your feedback at nothing, you know, zero, get approximately the operator, the modulator you want, and then change the feedback to see how it, it enhances it. So let's show. Um, here's one I prepared earlier. So that's a clanging chime. So that's a, a very typical FM type sound. I think it sounds really good, to be honest. Very different from the chime and the electric piano. And the difference is that like a subtractive synth, FM, you don't have as much control over the harmonics as a, an additive synth. Like FM, the more modulation you get, the more, uh, the, 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 the larger number of harmonics, but they go up in frequency. They do t change a little bit, but see how, I mean that one there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine harmonics. We've only got six oscillators in the, the additive side, so this sound could never be made by the additive side. Okay, but if we now go to our trusty bell, You see our second harmonic is oscillating um, which you can't do in FM easily without more modulators so you can do things out of order you can treat every harmonic individually in additive so it gives you more control but you have fewer oscillators or fewer harmonics FM we can generate some quite interesting harmonics and again just for reference Here's our sort of electric piano. Okay, well, turn down the reverb. Okay, um, let's. But see, even in additive mode, it's quite useful. I think I've actually, there's one harmonic. I think it's... We're still going. But see, in additive, you can still make use of the new feature. So, two. 
For example, I might want to put that up there, then let's get rid of the base fundamental frequency and um, let's just do another octave above. And then a fifth above that. There's an interesting, almost like a double sawtooth. So let's add a bit of a pre built. Reverb. But it means you can actually edit and sculpt the sound uh, in real time. You don't have to keep pressing the button. Uh, if you have, I'd, I'd recommend having a little oscilloscope if you can, if you've got one. It makes using these things much easier. If for some reason okay and again you can go crazy now so let's just get a an FM one going eight to one it's a bit crazy so now what we're gonna do is let's Let's turn our modulation right up, and you know what we're going to do? Turn our feedback, and have a look at how many harmonics we've got. You may say, oh, it's not a very interesting sound, but as soon as you put an envelope on it, now we're also envelope enveloping the feedback, let's just take that out. Let's just see what happens if we just do the envelope on the modulator. So, <clears throat> oscillator three, attack one, release long, sustain one, decay long. complex sound. Let's see what happens if we do a... Oh, we could do... Uh, let's see what a pad... Now I'm not saying that's a nice sound, but it just shows you the, the complexity you can now get to. Anyway, that was all I wanted to show, so... There are a few little bugs that have been fixed, but predominantly this new uh, release, which is up on GitHub already, has operator FM feedback properly working. Um, it also has a slight tweak to the UI so that it makes it easier to edit sounds. Anyhow, let's go out with our chime. that's not long enough for you yeah thanks for watching this one um, hopefully it's uh, gonna give some people something to play with um, I'm really really having a lot of fun with this little synth uh, it can make far more sounds than I ever thought possible and in fact you know what I'm using it more than all my other synths at the moment maybe it's a new toy but it just can do so much stuff for a tiny tiny little chip a homemade I think I think it's really good anyway thanks for watching um, and we'll see you in the next one if there's anything you, you want me to try and do with this just for people to have a look uh, put it in the comments and I'll see if I can code up a 
or patch up a, a sound. Um, okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.